Nigerian clergyman, Pastor Damina, stares controversy again, says God is not a Christian. <laughs> okay, let's see what he has to say. There is in detail. A Nigerian clergyman, Pastor Abel Damina, has explained why God is not a Christian, why charging his congregation to stop believing that only the people who believe in Jesus Christ will go to heaven. Damina, the senior pastor of Abel Damina Ministries International, made this known during one of his sermons. He chided Christians and believers who thought Christianity was the only religion that could take one to paradise to discard the position. So he further hinted that Jesus was not even a Christian. According to him, biblical characters like Abraham, David, and Jesus Christ did not use the term Christianity, but instead unbelievers, adding that these holy people were merely disciples or believers, not Christians in the traditional sense. He said, many of you think God is a Christian. God is not a Christian. Many of you think if you are not a Christian, you will not go to heaven. Lie. People went to heaven before Christianity started. Christianity started in Antioch in the book of Acts. That should humble you a bit and you should start adjusting your theology. And it is unbelievers that gave the name Christianity that you are carrying as a condition to go to heaven. Unbelievers who watch the people who are adherents of Brother Paul's teachings. After teaching for some time, they saw the transformation that had happened to these people. Before then, they were called believers and anmargeries. They were uh, disciples of Paul. He alluded to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Abel, Isaiah and David, including Jesus, not being Christians during their lifetime. Damien is known for his controversial views on salient issues in his sermons, most of which require other pastors to speak up. Recently, he was knocked for his comment on the remedy to porn addiction. He advised porn addict not to struggle to stop pornography, but should keep watching while listening to the word of God at the same time. Don't struggle to stop watching porn. Don't struggle at all. Just keep watching the porn. As you're watching the porn, Spend more time hearing the word. If you watch the porn for one hour, spend three to four hours hearing the word of God. Take note. Go get all my teachings on Christ. Just keep learning and learning. After a while, you'll find out that the appetite for porn is dying. And the appetite for the word is growing. Before you know it, when you see porn, you'll be irritated. The word of God will kill that appetite completely and give you a healthy appetite. That is what to do. Do not try to stop. In fact, keep watching, but spend more time studying God's word and you will find out that before you know it, your desire for porn will be gone, the pastor stated. Now, um, of course, when he said Christian, people are not, not Christians and the name given to them, Christians were from unbelievers. Of course, there is nothing like Christianity. It is after Christ. <laughs> that Christianity, the name Christianity was now being used. If you check on is actually correct yes you don't refer they were not being referred to that time as christians it was after what is christians christians means christ like so it was after christ actually came and gone yes and it was people ah, they are behaving like well, you know like uh, you know they say see as they do like this person uh -huh. not so it be they'll come and say see as they do like this person so of course there is no way Abraham and other people he mentioned, the other older prophets, would have behaved like Jesus is not possible. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like, what is saying? I can get where it's coming from. And then the camel that broke, should I say, the one that broke the camel back, the one about porn addiction. I am trying to watch it. I am trying to, I mean, to understand the angle where he's coming from and the angle is coming from there is no how you are going to open your bible read it meditate on it study it and you get something from it and you are comfortable living in sin you know the work i don't know about you but you know the work whatever religion you practice even if not quran you they read you cannot be comfortable eh, living in sin and reading the Quran at the same time. Most especially if you are doing it for doing it for yourself. You are not just coming as make people see you say the reader. If you spend two, three, four hours reading the word of God, my dear, 
it would yeah to an extent i am in a little way you know that is the angle i'm coming from i did not listen to the sermon no this is me just trying to you know see the angle is coming from which i feel is my angle there is no way you will truly study the bible meditate on it listen to it hear it study it and come out and you say you want to go and watch porn your conscience no go agree you in fact uh -uh. if any day you do it you will spend the rest of your day mourning and crying you are not going to feel good about yourself anything will consign this thing will be seen in fact anything that is not of god that you do anything that you find out that before you know you know it there are some things not just porn that you will not want to do you know go one do them. I don't know about you guys, but that is how strong the word of God is. Hmm? That is how strong whatever you believe is as in in is. I don't know if I'm making sense, Sha. But me, I know I'm making sense. I'm making sense. There is no way you study your Bible and you keep your Bible aside. And you do and you watch it. And after watching it, you are going to be seeing yourself as filth. And if you breed a culture of reading the Bible, my dear, yes, just like you said, the word of God will kill the urge. I understand where they come from, but a lot of people are not going to understand. Now, listen to this. Christian in Christ, like Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life to God, there is no controversy that you don't, don't understand. The word Christian and Christianity, that Christianity, that word was after Christ died. There was nothing about Christianity. In the Bible, make I can't tell you the truth, the Old Testament. Never. I know yes, here Abraham not Christian or Isaiah not Christian. He's just a believer, a prophet of God. I know yes, he's not Christian. <laughs> you understand? I, do, I can't stop wondering what people gain by giving undue attention and unwarranted publicity to this lousy fake pastor. Well, to me, he might be fake, but what he's saying, if you check him well, see, remove that seed. The thing is, stop saying things from one particular angle. Stop saying it from one particular angle. Stop it. <laughs> I have somebody who is a Christian, but um, all the religions, see Buddhism, he has read about it. Um, Ekanka, he has read about it. Christianity, and the person will tell you that they are interrelated. That is no big deal. The way you hold your Christianity in high esteem is the way an Islam person hold their own religion in high esteem. The way an Ekankar person, you understand? And these things are interrelated. But that book, if you read that book, you go on Chris. <laughs> but me, I'm just saying. The way you hold yours, and there is no way just like this one thing now. Even if sin itself, any kind of any form of sin, if you're somebody who you have built a, a routine, where you, you know, you study the Bible, my dear, you cannot be doing it and you're battling with porn. You'll be so engrossed in what you're doing. And if you do it all the time, you are going to be so, ah, see what I read for Bible, you're going to be playing it in your head. And before you know it, yeah. So I understand where it's coming from. Let nobody come from you. Everybody get their own opinion. All right, so on this note, you've come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen until I come you next time. Enjoy.